infinite sequences and the series were. I'm just going straight to the example. Example one, some sequences can be defined by giving a formula for the nth term. In the following examples, we give three descriptions of a sequence, one by using the preceding notation, another by using the defining formula, and a third by writing out the terms of the sequence. Notice that n does not have to start at 1. a open bracket n over n plus 1 uh, close bracket from n equals 1 to infinity where a sub n equals n over n plus 1 then you have an open bracket uh, one half, two thirds, three fourths, four fifths leads to n over n plus one. Close bracket. B open bracket. The numerator is open negative one close to the power n. Open uh, n plus one close over three to the power n. Uh, close bracket where a sub n equals open negative 1 closed to the power n, open n plus 1, uh, close over 3 to the power n. And if you follow that sequence, uh, open negative 2 over 3, then you have 3 over 9. Then you have negative 4 over 27. And that continues. And you get the initial condition, which is uh, open uh, negative 1 to the power n, open n plus 1 over n, um, uh, over, over, excuse me, over 3 to the power n. Uh, close bracket C open square root of n minus 3 close that's open and close bracket when we start C open bracket square root of n minus 3 close bracket from n equals 3 to infinity we have a sub n equals the square root of n minus 3 where n is greater than or equal to 3 we have open bracket uh, 0, 1, square root of 2, square root of 3, through the square root of uh, n minus 3, uh, close bracket. And then we have d, open bracket, cosine, which is opposite over adjacent, n pi over 6, and that's an open close bracket from n equals 0 to infinity where a sub n equals cosine uh, n pi uh, over 6, where n is greater than or equal to 0, open bracket 1, the square root of 3 over uh, 2, 1 half, 0, leads to uh, cosine n pi over 6, close bracket. 